What up, y'all? This is A.D. Walker. So, I know Brothers of Legacy are on a quick break, but today I just want to talk to you about contribution, right? We always talk about community. We always talk about changing our communities and affecting them. What can we do? Today, I want to kind of talk about contribution. Just, just a, a quick video, just to get your mind to think about the contributions that you're making towards your community, right? We all have ideas of great grandeur and change that can happen in, into our communities. I've asked, you know, various social media groups, you get a plethora of answers. Some coincide with the same things from economic um, openings and opportunities and jobs and things of that nature um, to even moving into reparations and things that can change, right? But my thing is, what is it that you're contributing to the change that you want to see, right? This goes past the Mahatma Gandhi quote, you know, be the change you want to see. But what efforts are you putting towards to make the changes happen within your community and to the larger state of, of many communities? Uh, what are you doing? What are you contributing? You know, it's, it's, it's not, it's very easy to suggest ideas. It's another thing to implement smaller ideas that fit into a larger movement or idea. So today I wanna challenge you. Yes, the Brothers of the Legacy, we're challenging you to begin to contribute to your community in order to see the change that you want to see. So whatever that may be, think about where do I need to start for this change to happen? Is there a representative I need to speak to? Are there local organizations that are already doing the work they just need some more hands on deck or they may just need some fresh ideas in order to attack a specific problem in my community. I want to challenge you today because I don't want you to just get through the week of Thanksgiving, go through this year, come into the same space and get excited. The new year is starting, you know, because we always get excited because a new year is starting. But I want to challenge you to begin to connect with those that can fix the problems in our community. Don't stand idly by and get frustrated, right? The, the Kyle Rittenhouse issue is, is way bigger than this one problem. We know about the, the systematic racism. We know about all of that. But what are we doing about it? Do you understand what I'm saying? What is it that we can change? Not only just racism, but classism, you know, the, the economic struggle that are in certain areas, right? It's one thing for spot or pockets of people to struggle because it happens. You know, the Bible says the poor will always be among us. But to have a community struggle is different. What can we do to change, to open up opportunities? What can we do to change situations, not only for our lives, but the lives around us? You know, for generations to come, because, it, you know, some of the issue is sometimes we come up with ideas that are generationally limited. Right. So it, it, it serves 10 years and then we need to come up with something else, either because of funding or, or the reciprocation of how the system works. You know, we have to come up with something that lasts a lifetime, you know, 30, 40 years. Some things need to be revisited, but. 10 years is not enough time to really impact the community. So we have to come up with ideas that can change generations and where the next couple of generations come up with new ideas to, to level up the previous idea, if that makes sense. So today I want to challenge you to begin to write a plan, begin to connect with others, connect with the Brothers of Legacy. My, open, my email is still open. Connect with us. Tell us how we can change our community. Challenge us to, to talk about and, and take action in the areas where growth is necessary so we can stop coming back to the same problems, being upset year after year, decade after decade, <laughs> century after century. It's time that we own up to what we can change so that we can be the catalyst to change other things. Right. We can't continuously sit idly by and complain. I don't want to hear the complaints. I get it because I know 
I know. But we have to be more than just complainers. We have to be doers. We have to be motivated to change things. Because in our community, we have so much we need to attack. There's our, <laughs> you know, it's like a company. You know, there's the external fights as well as our own internal fights. And there's a balance that we have to begin to attack. So I want to challenge you. What, what are some of the internals? What are some of the externals? And what can we do to begin to make change happen? And I want you to challenge, like I said, challenge us as brothers of legacy. What can we do to help you? What can we do to contribute? What can we do to further the agenda of building a closer, tight-knit community? Because community is my goal. Community helps build strength. Community helps build a generation where we strive instead of struggle, right? And it's, and it's way past just economics. It's social. It's political. We need to, to push ourselves to do more than just for me and mine. Because that's what happens. You know, like, it's, it's great because I, people get upset and things happen. You want to change. But the first focus is me and mine. I need you to expand your thinking outside of me and mine and do what's right for everyone, not just for you. This is my call to action today. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just, it's been on my mind for a while. It's, it's so much and next week we're going to be talking about, you know, some different things when it comes to internal relationships between, you know, men and, and mothers and things of that nature. Uh, so I need you to stay tuned as always, you know, go to brotherslegacy.com, go to Brother Legacy on podcast, definitely check us out, listen and, and see what we got going on. But I'd want to challenge you to step out of your comfort zone, right? And, and the problem, another problem is the fact that people want change, but they don't want to upset or challenge their current comfortable situation you know because sometimes making waves in certain areas may make your life unstable and it's for the greater good and i know that's harder that's better that's easier said than done but we have we have to be able to step out of our comfort zones step out of our our uh, ivory towers like chris rock has, has said before step out of the ivory towers and step into a space where community can thrive and not just you what can you do to help the community and this is not about just giving away stuff because that's that's the, that's sometimes the common idea or the common thought or the common uh defense mechanism when you begin to ask those to give into a community oh everybody want my stuff nobody wants your stuff but what can you contribute to the community to help push us forward? And, and sometimes it can be a challenge. And it's not about begging because what you don't realize, if you open yourself up to connect with the community, the community will serve you. And, and it's a reciprocation. And growth always happens. I promise you, growth always happens. But our reciprocation or, or our giving is never from the from the right place, which is why nothing fruitful ever happens. I want you to marinate on that because we, you know, some people give, you know, for write-offs. Some people give, you know, for photo ops. And I know, like, as a as a receiver, I don't care how you give. Just thank you for giving. But give with the idea of building, building relationships building relationship because you don't know who's in the community that you're giving into people have no idea who they're connecting to zero because a lot of times we place value on people based on monetary uh look or what they have in their bank account and that is furthest from the truth some of the greatest people are that some homeless they just hit a bad patch things happen things happen and and it's crazy how we can get so disconnected that we forget that things happen. We forget that challenges happen. We forget 
that it really gets difficult and hard to make things happen. And we need a small opportunity, a chance in order to get back to where we were or even just to, to, to do better, to move forward. You know, Pastor said, you don't go back, you move forward. And that forward motion takes building together, community. You know, my, my number one goal when it comes to Brothers of Legacy, every brother I connect to, I, I said, you have to promise me not to disappear. Don't disappear. Oh, don't disappear. I get it because I've been, I was a disappearing king. That's why I know when you disappear, the worst happens. You know, you, you fall into these, these slumps and it affects your whole life, it affects your family. So today I want to challenge you to not disappear. Contribute. Find a way to contribute to the changes that you want to see and connect with the community. That's it. And if you're having any problems, and I know if you've got issues like, man, I did this, and I get it. Connect with Brothers of Legacy. Um, you can hit us, brothers of, brothers of Legacy at gmail.com. Um, you can hit us up on Messenger app and Facebook and Instagram land. <laughs> Make a comment in, in one of our videos if you feel like I just got something to say. And even if even if it's not what the video is talking about, it's fine. I'll see it because, you know, the notifications at least get those. My, my goal this week, I'm going to stay connected with you guys. I just want to share this with you. Just just little tidbits. And I'm going to do more of this because I'm I need I need you guys. Those that are watching my brothers, my sisters, the way Brothers of Legacy is set up. We're building a community. And I made a post today. I don't want followers. I want to build community. That's growth. All right. So as always, know that we love you. God loves you more. Continue to keep pressing on. Don't get discouraged. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, whatever that may look like. Whatever it may look like. I know you. some people desire their families. Things may be going wrong. It's going to be okay. I promise you, just stay connected. Stay connected. If you need someone to connect to, connect with me, connect with us, and we got you. All right, that's it.